Hello, and welcome to Hedgehog Plays and a Fate. It is a card game where my ass will get kicked constantly. Also joined with me. Probably not as hard as it looks. Hello! <laughs> also with me, the bear. Hello. Bear. What's up? Alright. Oh, that's nice. And oh, that's just right. to uh, say this now, I can't see a damn thing on this side of the screen. No, you cannot. There's also so, a huge piece of lag with my... Uh, are you certain? Oh dear, that's loud. Okay. Oh, here. Considering I was in the middle of the game, let me... The cold embrace of death. Let me back out of this to where we can actually get started on this jazz. Of new life. <laughs> and here's the thing. I'm gonna do something I'll probably hate again. myself for later. One more run. One more attempt. Not that. I'm gonna actually reset my data so people can experience how shit gets unlocked and such. Via my Buddy. via my Buddy. Yeah. It's like resetting your memory. Basically. No. Either that or they can just watch me try and try again on King of Scales. Then again. I don't know what that is, so you might as well go off the memory thing. <laughs> I, I thought that was much. Alright, so. <laughs> that's the case, y'all got to watch me do this as well. Reset progress. Yes. So, here we go. Uh, one more for the game. Come, sit. You have passed the Thirteen Gates. And you come to my table to play the game of life and death. Your stake is wagered. I refuse none who come here. Yet, I say, turn back. What exactly is happening on your side right now? Intro cutscene. It, it just finished, too. Okay. okay. The game so I don't begins. Have to do nope. One here's lives we got to and the one point. dies. Yeah, here's Let's the thing. See what uh, you mean. Bear here can't see, nor can he hear what's going on right here's now. The Otherwise, first echoes happen. Of my court. The Jack of Dust. Echo. Echo. Twelve in all must fall pretty before much. you may challenge. Pretty, pretty much. And so, now we play a game where we get to fight big burly men. With our smaller burly man. Yep. Yeah, we get equipment cards, we get encounter cards, and we get. Let the cards fall where they uh, may. Pain gain cards. We begin. All that jazz. Blessings. So, your way. First things first, we gotta, we gotta choose where we walk in here. The cards have laid out a path. We go into the cards. That first moment, they are an encounter. That and they lead to different weapon. shit. The call to action, to Don't adventure. Last. <laughs> to his can, you see a weapon glinting in the sunlight lying next to a skeleton at the bottom of the canyon. The walls of the canyon are covered in thick vines perfect for climbing. Climb down and retrieve the weapon or leave it. I'm gonna go grab a weapon. Because usually it's starting weapons ass. Alright, and basically this is how it works. I got 75% chance of Choose not from these fucking up. I almost fucked up, but I didn't. Don't fuck up. Good. Very carefully, so now that we've gotten a success, it actually went our way. Very carefully, you make your way to the bottom of the canyon. You retrieve the weapon from the ancient corpse. Draw one equipment card. Hey, we got a thing. It's a sword. It's better than our axe. So yeah. The rusty axe does 20 damage. That's what you constantly start with at the, each time you do a game. We got a weapon that's better, so we're going to equip that a now. A moment to savor. That will make well, me much more you effective. Unless you want to go, like, balls to the walls and just... I mean, I know. could. Mr. Lionel. Whilst enjoying your evening meal at the local town, a strange old man takes the seat next to yours. He taps your soil quite painfully with his wooden staff to get your attention, and you notice he appears to be a goblin poorly disguised as a human. <laughs> his wizened face grins at you with a hint of madness. My name is Mr. Lionel. 
you give me what I need, boy, I will conjure up your heart's desire with this wizarding wand of my own creation. You're a goblin. Why should I trust you? <laughs> anyway, he cackles uncontrollably for a few moments and sits patiently waiting for your answer. Oh, mind you, uh, I, I explain the different shit over here on the left. Health is self-explanatory. That's just hit points. Food is used every time you move from a card to another card, and that restores health. However, if you run out of food and you start moving, uh, you take damage for going hungry. Gold. Gold is gold. Money. Pretty much. So, first option. We give him the bread off from our plate. That'll just give him some food. We could give him 20 gold if we had 20 gold. <laughs> Ask him what he needs. Which basically means he'll probably take a ramp piece of fucking equipment. Or ignore the goblin. Which, knowing him, he would take my sword right after getting it, or the shield. So I'm gonna just give him some food, see what we get. He considers the bread seriously before placing it carefully in his coat pocket, seemingly satisfied. Mr. Lionel taps his staff on the ground and a shield materializes at your feet. There you go, old bean. He smiles a worn grin that reveals all his chipped and yellow teeth. Your face reminds me of my son. I haven't met you before, have I? Draw one equipment card. We get a shield. I forgot we didn't have a shield. We have a shield. So he would have taken the shield that you didn't, didn't exist. Have. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> shields with okay, so shields with this trait, the reflect trait, allow the hero to reflect projectiles back at the attacker. Essentially, if someone's throwing a knife or shooting you with a bow and arrow or a crossbow, you reflect that back at someone. I will warn you now, there are guns in here, and they do not work on them. But it works on a crossbow bolt? Yes, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what's been thrown at me before. I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> anyway, we also have the counter, which is also the Q button. Q button is just reflect and counter in general. And basically, weapons with this trait allow the hero to counter their foes' attacks. So, you'll have like these icons and indicators that go above the opponent's head, the attacker's head. If they are starting to attack and it's green, you have the chance to counter. If it's red, you might want to bolt instead, because it means you can't counter that shit. You can now reflect anyway, your have opponent's a shield now. ranged attacks using your shield. Make good use of this skill if you wish to survive. I wish to survive. The maid. I'm not surprised <laughs> to find that this encounter remains vivid in your memories. The maiden, riding a fucking unicorn. One day in a shady forest, you encounter an elf maiden. She stops to greet you. Uh, I am Meredith. I am Merith of the forest folk. My people have long helped the morals of this realm. What boon would you ask for of me? Ask for longer life. Ask for supplies. Or ask for gold. We only got 10 gold, but we also only have 16 food. I'm gonna ask for food. I don't think we have. I don't think we have equipment worth dick. This bread will sustain you for many days. Great. Draw different food cards. We get three food, and we get three food. So six food. Nice. We're up to 22. Well, that should last us throughout the rest of this. Oh wait, no, I forgot to read. Forgive me. Anyway, we found Down stairs. Once more, seeking the heart of it uh, all. take the stairs. Essentially, at the end of each one, stuff like stairs or portals and whatnot is what will be said there. That's just basically the exit for the room. You're so on now the you final go to floor of our simple map. Wow, Your I really did not need that food. food. That was stupid of me. Okay, I should have asked for if longer you life. If defeat me, well, oh, it is or early gold. to be talking about victories. Uh, okay, so money. Money. Let us see what you're made money, of. Money, money would have been useful. In a so we found a traveling mage. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with the wandering adventurers. Mage sells only specific items and they've discovered in faraway lands. These prices can be high, but they also pay well for anything that catches their interest. We're gonna approach the shop anyway with our ten measly gold. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Are you certain? I only have twenty gold for you. If you were wondering why you've been collecting all that gold, I, I can give you half of twenty. We're starting to get into the meat of the game now. 
the back and forth right. between resources Let, and rewards. Let's at least show whatever that card was that flew like that. Okay, so here, like these like face down ones are ones that we have yet to discover. Or I say discover, we have them in our deck, we just haven't come across them yet, so we don't know what their effects are. Either way, we have the plunderer's cap here. When you draw supplies, instead draw two and pick one, which is actually really good. But that's 44 gold, so you can expect to learn 10 gold when I do shit. Uh, these are blessings, right? Or not blessings. Are they blessings? No, there are effects. There are effects. There are effects. My bad. So basically, what they do is that they have little numbers here that say uh, how many times you can use them. And they get used up, like they're permanently used. So this one is Alchemic Sil Silver, press 2 to attack faster with each successful strike. The longer your combo, the more explosive the reaction. And then we got Damocles, which personally I like a lot, because during combat you just press 2 to throw knives in eight in the 8 cardinal directions. And it just hits people. It's pretty good. Oh, here's the Hags Wraps. Uh, each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. That's 33 gold. I want that. That would be useful. But I did not get money, because I am a slowing man. So I'm gonna say... Well, people are selling things you already have. No, because all I have is a sword and a shield. Fuck. I wish I could sell food at this point. That, that, this is where I want to sell food. Because I, because there's only four spaces left. If I kept, like, six food, I'd be fine with the way they're laid out right now. Hey, I found an ambush. What did you think would happen with a card called Ambush? Eh? <laughs> what did you think would happen with a card called Ambush? Oh, thanks, dealer. All right, Ambush. The slight rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in grave danger. Draw one monster card. And those are those are just the foes, are the monster cards. So, two of dust. We get to fight two bandits. But yeah, so the card number indicates uh, the amount and uh, of what is basically self-explanatory there. It tells you what you're fighting. Dust is bandits, and then they have other shit, like, was it? There's plague, bones, something like that. Anyway, WASD the move. Cue to counter. Left click to hit him in the face. Bajram in the deck. That's the you can now counter your opponent's oh. attacks. Hit the I also forgot the space you the is how you indicator. dodge roll and right click when you have a shield is your stun. It's quite nifty. One of these bandits left, you just got a whale on them. It's not difficult to deal with a small amount of these guys. If you start dealing with a big with bigger numbers, ooh, what you got next to me? While searching the area for anything worth salvaging, you realize that one of your opponents is only pretending to be dead. Sneak up and kill him or flee. I'ma kill him. We got a three out of four chance. Let's see how we fuck it up. I think it. I don't think it's that one. I think it's this one. Oh, they were both okay. That's good. Equip weapon blow to the head fixes that. You finish searching the area. The dealer draws you three game cards. Draw one equipment. It's an axe that a does... A peasant's weapon. Ah, we have an... Effective nonetheless. A peasant's weapon, but effective nonetheless. Thanks, dealer. <laughs> uh, damage is slightly better than the sword, so we'll take the axe. Yes, please. Really? Is that what you're going that, to do? That is what I'm going to do. Oh, you gave me three food. And 25 gold. We are now at 35. Hey, those uh, hag wraps don't happen to still be on sale, do they? <laughs> All right, uh, approach the shop, if you please. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. Yes. So basically, this video is going to be a bit longer than most, because my plan is to go through an entire dungeon and then stop the recording. Oh. 
That is now my plan, because I actually can't see how long I've been recording for at the moment. Oh shit, does the person have a different ship? It hasn't been that long, I think. I don't think so. Uh, Dragon Ring. While all Dragon Relics are equipped, receive plus 50 max health and full healing after every combat. Well, okay. Uh, ah shit, so it's not here anymore, go the encounter. That saddens me. Hernia's Antlers. Lizardmen take double damage from the player's decks. Okay. That's later on. That is useless to us right now. And I can't buy the Blunder's Cap. Okay. Lizardmen, so fighting off the Illuminati? Possibly. Probably. Selling the sword for five gold. Alright, so that means... Fuck, that means it was practically useless coming back to the shop. That saddens me. Because the plunder's cap is 44 gold, so I can't afford it even after selling the sword. Fuck! I didn't you have reached to him my yet. first I champion. To get the other card. A good man driven to madness by a war that took all from him. Wife oh, and child. Dear. Kith and kin. From oh, such dear. dark and brittle iron, oh. I forge my tools. Now we see your metal. Did that happen? The dealer gave, like, a backstory for the Jack of Dust, and it's actually kind of sad for the man. That poor fella. Man, is it worth not killing him over? No, because he's going to outright kill us if we don't. Anyway, the bandit leader, Jack of Dust, is stronger and faster than most bandits encountered. He can become enraged, making powerful, unblockable attacks. He also inspires his foes to steal gold on each hit. So, yeah. So, he's going to take all your money. He's going to try to, yeah. And here, we have some flavor text here. In the ruins of an ancient temple among the internally shifting sand dunes lives the mysterious leader of the desert bandits, infamous for his reign of terror over and spice cam caravans that dare take their chances traveling through his domain. He rules as a king over the barren lands. This token will unlock more cards if you can oh, that's right. this encounter. These little symbols here, these little gold ones, are tokens. And you can get that to get more cards, whether it be equipment, encounters, or monsters in general. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, let's kick his ass. Or get my ass kicked. I don't know. We'll get to find out. Either or. Either or. It's one of these buttons. Alright, so he's got four lackeys who'll steal my gold on you shit. So that'll be fun. Jack thus with a big... to go bankrupt. I, I'll try not... I'll try not to file for bankruptcy. Some enemy attacks cannot be blocked or countered. Get out of the way, or stop them with your own counter To the worms. Only five Perhaps gold. That was supposed to be per hit. Oh. So One champion I did has been good not getting smacked in the face that time. Yet we are only at the start of our yep. road. So here's the tokens we, we have earned. Face eleven more opponents who will test your strength, your memories, and your resolve. All right, so we have a bunch of character cards. First heard the Jack of Skulls is up next, so that'll be fun. We have waited, and you have won. 
Yep. You so, make play for rewards. Uh, Dead King's Fall. That's what you mine. Uh, As you improve, peasant. so do I. Ah, fuck. Balance Devil's Choice. Must be retained. The River. And Captain of the Guards. Now, these little symbols on the top uh, on the top of the cards here, the little boxes of gills, that means they're locked into your deck, which means you have to do them in order to, like, get them elevated, so to speak. Next up. Bunch of equipment cards. As a reward for defeating Bandit Jack, you receive these new cards. Medium armor. Chains of Rage. Mercenary Contract. Uh, more medium armor. Or to breath, which is actually a really good shield. Desperate message, which is also a really good shield. Or not shield, but a weapon. The face. Oh, hit him in the face. Hit him in the face of the mace. And now we have new challenges, such as handed attacks. So that's also locked into our deck. Shall we deal again? Yeah. So, now we get into ah, the part where we actually... Now you understand the basics, start can shit. begin in earnest. Your hero is returned to his beginning items. Yep. Our deck so, so I'll just show off Welcome to the, cabinet. the fucking cards Only real quick before of my I go and stop the recording. So you're Time for you to face my undead next. army. And then you go to deck builder, jack of which is how you go... No, I want to do this myself. Essentially, this is where the magic happens. This is where you put in shit into your deck to try and get. So now I'm just throw these in. Take out one of those. Uh, let's see. Oh, we haven't discovered that one yet, so we don't know its effects. Keep the shield. Mercenary contracts, not bad. The reason I like taking out a bunch of like the shield and shit is so it's guaranteed when I get a shield I'll get for a dude's breath. And that's my main purpose on doing that at the moment. I'm trying to increase my chances to get these things here. And I believe if we and right click you expect so healing gap, any healing that the player receives is double. Your explorers, I think, just shows off the map. Oh, it reveals the stairs encounter upon entry level and grants a gold bonus for revealing every encounter on the level. So, hey, conquistadors. All the ones that are new, we won't be able to see their effects until we see them in the actual game itself. So, that'll be fun. Alright, this we don't worry about. That's just changing the difficulty. Like, that's why current phase default mode. Characters, here we go. So we're gonna need at least 12 characters. These three are locked in. We cannot substitute those out for anything. My trail we haven't come across yet. I'd say the name of the game is Strike as many things new as possible, so tokens, they're your best friend. Like Dead King Salt, want, want, want. And I also want that. So we gotta take some now. Go and leave ambush. That's good, I didn't want to take any of those out, but... I think Dead Man's Gorge doesn't do anything for me, but I'm not certain, so I'm gonna just take that out. Get all the new stuff in, you know? 